Okay. This is week five. Week five of the SEDA Draft League. Yeah, we got a lot of Tyra Ross. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, we're facing Drew Muck today. Uh, this is the team. I didn't know you could send emojis in. I did not know that worked in Shredder Trap. Alright then. Oh, I've got a model up my team on, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, uh, what should I lead? I kind of want to lead like Zapdos. Um, obviously, I'm expecting Palafin to switch out early. If I lead something like Fungus Zapdos, it's very easy for me to punish just about anything since I can heal with Spore. Um, I do definitely want Basket Legion. And then it's just a case of Frostmoth or Corviknight. Corviknight has the advantage of Tailwind, uh, both of them. Do unfortunately struggle with not being able to hit Golengo. Um, we'll go Corviknight. Okay, so it's just Illumis Goldengo. Cool. Um, I might just switch to Corviknight here. Uh, Goldengo is Terra Water, that's pretty interesting. Um, obviously, I'm threatening a Heat Wave. I doubt they'll click Terra Water though, for fairly obvious reasons. I'm just going to go Heat Wave. Boom goes not useful though. Switch it out. Donate up. Okay, we take a Shadow Ball. We return with a Heat Wave. Get a burn. Shouldn't matter. And a Struggle Bug. <laughs> Reflected back to Illumis. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, okay, we see it's not like Life Orb or anything. Um, with that damage, could it be Specs? Um, we have, like, Gold Echo versus Horvonite. Knight. Which I'm going to change that to the Trace Specs. So. I, mean, uh, I don't think so. I don't know what the item is. Um... Tailwind and Detect. Okay, they fake to they Shadow Ball, I protect that, I get the Tailwind up. That's incredible for me. Um, so the Heat Wave did 62% before. Um, I obviously don't want them to like tear out water to save themselves or something, or like Rain Dance. Um, Because it did, or oh, seventy six, seventy six, something like that. Um, I'm just going to do the calculation. That should be fine. Um, because I can try set up a bulk up. We do miss. It's unfortunate. We get a bulk up off. Still for Citrus Berry intact. I don't know what a little of my model is gonna do. Um not a Pokemon I'm super familiar with. I'm not super threatened by it either. And I'll, um Terratype Fire. That's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, I kind of want. I just wanted to get rid of the Lumis. Thunder Wave. Ooh. Okay. Whirlpool. Interesting. So they have trapped me in with the special attack drop. I prop my own Citrus Berry with Brave Bird. Oh, never mind. Rocky Helmet. Look upon last Pokemon, not surprising. I mean, there is a good chance it's a double protect from them. I mean, I'm j I basically just could have clicked the buttons. Um... Yeah, we get the Thunderbolt on two, a Logomola. So we can switch out if we want to preserve Zapdos. Not sure if we do though. Uh, Carbonite's very low. I mean, we can fairly safely brave, but the Ogre Pond and Switch Zapdos out does not really much negative to that. Um, since the only attack, since uh, Goldango has to attack Corviknight, otherwise Ogre Pond goes down. And I can switch into Fungus with Zapdos. And obviously, Ogre Pond's not going to do any damage to that. So yeah, Corviknight goes down. Ivy Cudgel, not going to do anything. Goldango about to go down to its burn. So... I'm going, to, I'm going to go Zapdos. I'm going to Detect Protect. Is this burn kind of mattering? Not sure if it would have made the difference though. Considering I can Heat Wave. Um, it's basically just like for Ogre Pond, like kills up those in one hit. I guess after Terror, the Ivy Cudgel, the Shadow Ball. Interesting, the Ivy Cudgel of Fungus. Okay. Um. I mean, Fungus is not gonna do anything. I'm just going to keep clicking Protect just to not reveal any moves. Okay, Rock Tomb. Hey, we click Lost Respect again. Okay, that's a win. Awesome. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, how made us they approach this differently? Um, obviously, just leaning gold anger. Hmm. I mean, they will adjust. However, it's like, what are they going to adjust to? Like Palafin, Ogapon, Lomomola, Spiritomb. Like I'm, like my finger up just leads very comfortable into all of those. I'm gonna just definitely stick with Basculation. Um, since Goldinger was quite a core cool part of that strategy, I probably do want to keep with Corviknight. Also, if they go Tailwind again, then I can counter Tailwind. Which is very nice. 
Okay, same alludes. In. Yeah, this may seem a little wooden zone, but like, hit me out, right? He wave. I don't think it'd be enough. He wave did seventy six percent. I really don't think they will click Terra Water in front of Zapdos. Like, I could try to get a spawn on Lumis, but I don't think it's worth it. I mean, what did they. Well, did Lumis click turn one last game? Went Struggle Bug. Because, like, if I think they're not going to tail in turn one, then putting it to sleep is actually quite valuable. Since Zapdos will outspeed it. Damn. Okay. Understandable. Not the most powerful last respect, but it's still adaptability boosted. So it will do very good damage if they don't terrestrialize out of their weakness. I think I could at least storm into Terra Grass, last respect, so that way I don't have to worry about taking a Shadow Ball since I'm the Soul first. Um, Leaf Storm should cover for the Terra Water, hopefully. Um, so I imagine that's probably the most likely play. Yep, okay. Let's go, Fungus! Okay. Spirit tomb. Go to sleep, please. Um I mean I'd quite like to have a higher base power. Um, last respect. Unfortunately, I don't right now. <laughs> I mean, Ogapon's not like. I reckon I can pick that off with an Aqua Jet if it's not too bulky. Can I go for it? Spiritomb does have the Threat of Will-O-Wisp. I don't really have much more to comment on that, like it has the Threat of Will-O-Wisp, I'm not doing much to play around at her. Um, face Spiky Shield and... Wisp, okay. Oh, that doesn't do any damage. Okay, they Wisp, yeah. Um...
Midday Rock to me. That I'm confused about. Oh, they should have cleared Rage Powder, but uh, it doesn't really matter. I get caught, mate. Okay, back into this. I think that's not really doing anything here, I'm not gonna lie. What's a Lumi's gonna do? It's not that threatening. Ogapon can't do much to my team. I'm pretty much locked in at this point. Like, once Goldango goes down, like, it's two support ones in Ogapon, which just can't really hit my Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Understandable. I respect that play. Especially if that was intentional. Um, I just click Rage. I just click Rage Powder Brave Bird at this point. Stays fast asleep. Does have leftovers? I see when doing a whole bunch of damage to Fungus. <laughs> the minus two spec spit off. Okay. Awesome. Corviknight barely survived that battle. Okay then. That was Pretty clean. The game one was quite close, but that Fungus Leaf Storm just kind of swung the game. Anyway, if you've made it this far into the video, then thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!